Hi, this is Maddie Brown with Smashing Numbers, and I am reminding you today that if you are in business and you pay another person for services, you are required to issue to them a 1099 in the amount of what you paid them. Now, the purpose of this form is to report to the IRS how much you paid someone else so that they so that the IRS can assure that the income was reported on that person's income tax return. So when you hire someone to provide a service to you, you need to get a form called a W-9 from them. And that W-9 has their social security number, their EIN number, their address, and everything you need to issue them a 1099. The penalties for not issuing 1099s have become very severe, and it is something that the IRS is looking at very carefully, so you don't want to skimp on this. You want to make sure that you issue 1099s to everybody that provides you services. If you buy product from them, printing or car repairs that, that involve materials and time, then you don't have to issue a 1099. It's strictly service-based providers, graphic designers, web designers, copywriters, um, pension, um, I'm sorry, copywriters, professional fees, coaching, consulting, all of those things require a 1099 unless there are a couple of exceptions. And one of those exceptions is if you paid that person via credit card or by PayPal or by another third-party vendor. If you paid them by a third-party vendor, then you don't issue them a 1099 because the third-party vendor is required to issue them a 1099. Now, people shouldn't need this to figure out how much you paid them to do their tax return. But they do need to have this reported so that they can be certain that they're including the right amount from you. And so those numbers need to jive. They need to, they need to make sense. So those are the exceptions for when you need to do a 1099. They are due January 31st, and you are penalized severely for each individual 1099 that you don't issue. So you want to protect yourself from any penalties by issuing the 1099s that you're supposed to enter. If you have any questions, you can give us a call at or an email at maddie at smashingnumbers.com, and I'll be happy to help. Take care. Bye.